Hey family, thank you all so much for tuning in. I pray that you all are well. I have a quick word that I want to release to you guys because it keeps presenting itself. The Lord spoke into my spirit as I was coaching a client a few days back and then it just uh, kept popping up. So I want to share it with you guys. I know it's going to be a blessing for many of you. It's going to be confirmation for you. It is going to be what you need right now in this season because many of you are at your Moriah. This is the mountain that God asked Abraham to go to, to sacrifice the promise. Yes, the manifested promise, his word manifested in the flesh. This is his son, Isaac, Abraham's son, Isaac. And so many of you are holding on to your promises. Okay. And just as the Lord, yes, spoke into Abraham's spirit, this promise, just as he confirmed this promise by sending angels to confirm the word, just as he confirmed this promise to his daughter, Sarah, as she laughed at it. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And many of you are at that place right now where you're quote unquote, laughing at the promise, meaning it's unbelievable because it's so unbelievable, right? It's unbelievable because it looks impossible. Like you don't understand how it's going to happen. You don't see yourself as equipped. You don't see yourself as prepared, but it's not about you. It's about the glory of the Lord that's going to show through you. It's about the glory of the Lord that's going to be offered back up to him in sweet incense when this promise comes to pass in your life. So, so listen, listen, the Lord is highlighting this for you because you're trying to figure it out again. Like you've gotten to a certain place where you have heard a few instructions from the Lord in regards to your path to your promise. Okay. And so you've heard him say, okay, do this or move here or leave this or sit here or whatever it is. And then you're at that place of waiting and then your old habits are coming back in, right? Or your will is coming back in because you're getting a little fearful because it doesn't look like it's supposed to look right. And the Lord is saying, wait for me in Genesis 22. Uh, chapter two, this is when the Lord gives Abraham his instructions. And many of you may be seeing two, 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 and this is what it means. God is saying, all right, listen for your instructions. So there was a point where the Lord said, leave Abraham, take your son. He told him, take your son to this place and you're going to sacrifice him, right? So he had his specific instructions. The promise Isaac didn't know, right? But they went along, okay? And so listen, when Abram or Abraham got to the place of sacrifice, he waited for three days. And I don't know what your waiting period is. I don't know if it's three days. I don't know if it's three months. I don't know if it's been three years, whatever it is. But Abraham did not make a move in that time period, in that period of waiting, he sat and waited for the Lord. He did not go back home to Sarah to ask her opinion. He did not ask Isaac the promise, okay? He did not seek out any other advice, all right? He stayed in the place until he knew. Yes, he did not go explore the other, other mountains to see which one he should go to. Thank you, Holy Spirit, right? So some of you are doing that where the Lord has told you one thing and you're doing all this exploration on the other side, trying to figure it out. And God is saying, no, 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 wait, wait, wait in this place for me until I show you where to go. Yes. Th thank you. Holy spirit. The Lord says, I am a God of order and I am your father. And I know what I'm doing. He's saying this now, I know what I'm doing and I know what I have planned for you. Follow me, says the Lord. Follow me. Yes, into green pastures, says the Lord. That's for somebody. Follow me into the green pastures that I have laid out for you. The provision that I have laid out for you. The destiny connections that I have laid out for you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So listen, after Abraham heard from the Lord, he went up to the mountain, Mount Moriah, where he told him to go. And he did his instructions, right? He obeyed the instructions of the Lord rather. And so listen, when you hear from the Lord, you'll be able to make your next step. Now on the other side of this, 
God is asking some of you to surrender, yes, your promise to him because it has come to a place of imbalance where you're so um, focused on what to do to get to the end result. And God is saying, I'm not a God of a means to an end. He's saying, I am your father. Like, do not use me to get to the promise. Thank you, Lord. And so he's just doing a shift like this. He's doing a transition in your life. He's doing a rearranging and a realigning to make sure that he is here and the promise is here, right? He's saying, will you love it more than me? He's saying, will you love it more than me? And he wants to make sure that your heart is with him because he has told you some mighty things. He is going to do some beautiful things in your life. It's going to come to pass, okay? And the Lord does not want you to leave him. He does not want me to leave him. He does not want any of us to leave him. And this is, has, has been, yes, humanity's problem that God blesses us and then we get so excited and we get so consumed and that we forget about him. Come on, Holy Spirit. But the Lord is trying to do something with your heart. He's trying to make sure that it is solid. He's trying to make sure that your roots are planted deeply in him. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He does not mind you having what he has promised you. He does not mind you having nice things. As long as they do not have you, as long as they don't take up residence in your heart, as long as they don't snuff him out of your life as long as they don't overtake you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, Abraham had many possessions. He had many possessions. He probably was a billionaire, if not a multimillionaire of his time. Thank you, Holy Spirit. But he honored the Lord. He honored the Lord. Thank you, Lord. And so I am here to tell you, God is calling you to your place of Moriah. He's calling you to your place of sacrifice. He's calling you to your place of surrender. Yes, to let it go, to let it go. Yes, and don't allow the promise to consume you because then it takes you out of the, the uh, posture, yes, in your mental that you need to be in as far as your focus on your assignment, whether that is you physically doing something right now, or if your assignment is your rest. And that is the time that Abraham had waited, right? That three days. And so whatever your resting period is, you better take advantage of it. You better rest up because when it is go time, it is go time. And you're going to be wishing for those days, these days where you can relax, where you can rest, where you can sit. Yes. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Break it off of them in Jesus name. Yes. Rest, 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 rest. That is for somebody. God is going to work it out for you. It's already done. It's already done. It's already done. He gives you this day, your daily bread, not tomorrow's, not next week's, not next month's. And sometimes he will do that. Sometimes he will fill your basket. Come on. Just like Israel coming out of the wilderness. Thank you, Holy Spirit, where he rained down the manna from heaven for six days. And on the seventh day, he said, let it rest. Don't go out there and do nothing, but eat off of what you had for the six days. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And so, yes, God will do that as well. Some of you, you're gathering, yes, your daily bread, your daily bread. And then there is a rest. Some of you, he is going to just drop it on you. And that's for those of you I told you last week where he's going to give you this explosive growth where you already have something in your basket. You already have some manna in your basket, so to speak. And you're going to be able to eat off of that as you put your hands to work in the next assignment, in the next thing. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So you guys, be strong and courageous. I'm back here sweating. I don't know if it's this jacket or if it's the fire of the Lord, but listen, I think it's both. But listen, the Lord is so good. He is going to show you where your ram is. He says he has it and he doesn't want you trying to figure it out. He doesn't want you getting back into toiling. He doesn't want you to despise the promise even. And yes, that hope deferred that has been making your heart sick. It's because of the focus on the promise. And God wants you to focus on him, the promise keeper. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So as you do that, that hope deferred will turn into a tree of life as that desire is fulfilled 
in the mighty name of Jesus. So I just pray right now, Father, for each person that you have sent to this message, Lord God. Let the fire of your Holy Spirit ignite in their bellies, Lord God. Yes, let the gift of tongues rise out of their spirits, Lord God. Let their heavenly language come forward. Many have been crying out to speak in their heavenly language. And Father, I thank you that you are anointing them right now to break the yokes off of their lives that are keeping them bound, that are keeping them from moving forward in what you have called them to do. Yes, the enemies that are at their gate, the gate of their greatness. Yes, Father, I thank you that you are breaking those gates down by your anointing through your people, Lord God, that your people are using their keys to walk through the gates. Yes, God. Yes, the gates that you have already predestined and for them to to walk through in Jesus name. This is their authority. Yes. This is their uh yes, their authority in the realms that you are going to have them operating in spiritually and naturally to bring in your harvest, the harvest of souls in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I thank you that there won't be any feeble uh, among them. Yes, just as you brought the children of Israel out and none of their shoes had holes in their or, or in the soles. Yes, none of their clothes were worn out. Father God, I thank you that nothing on them will be worn out physically, spiritually, emotionally, whatever it is, Lord God. I thank you for a restoration over your people. I thank you for a restoration, for a recompense. Yes, a recompense. Some of you are, are trying to, uh, you want your vengeance. Yes, you want your vengeance for, for what God has awakened you to, that you allow to happen to yourself. Some of you, some things weren't your fault, but some things you allow to happen to you because you didn't know any better, right? This was your perishing for lack of knowledge and it's created this holy righteous anger. I'm here to tell you, let the Lord vindicate. God will bring whatever or whoever that is out of the very darkness that you were in. So yes, yes, yes. Mercy, Lord. More mercy, more grace in the mighty name of Jesus. Woo! My God, my God, if you are free, type that in the comments. If you feel your freedom, say, I am free in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. So you guys, I pray that this message whoo, has been a blessing. I'm about to run around this apartment, you guys. Listen, I love you all so much with the love of Christ. Thank you for tuning in. Share this video, play it back. Pray, um, yes, pray and play that prayer back. That's just a, a just something the Lord dropped in my spirit. Play it back to get it in your spirit, to catch it again. This is not the time for you to sacrifice the promise to kill it, right? To you need to, yes, follow your instructions. Yes, because yes, thank you, Holy Spirit. Some of you are right there at the place where you're about to, uh, like Abraham was, and the angel of the Lord said, No, 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 right? And God is saying that to you right now. Don't give up, don't kill it, don't kill it, don't kill the promise. He has your ram in the mighty name of Jesus. I love you all so much with the love of Christ. Most importantly, Jesus loves you and I'll talk to you soon.